Hi guys, I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how I do these pet portraits right here. I did this one back in 2019 and they're very easy. So to start with, I already painted my dog. Um, episode 3 I believe it is, I show you how to paint your dog like this. That way I'm not showing you, wasting time to show you again. So there's my pet that I painted like episode 3. And then you want to get a flower frame. You can buy these on Creative Fabric or Creative Market or even paint your own flower frame. However you want to do it. So I'm going to put my flower frame underneath of my dog. And then I'm going to position the dog to where she sticks out above the flower frame up here. So we get a 3D effect. And a little bit on the bottom. Then we're going to duplicate our flower frame. And we're going to take the duplication and put it over her. Then we're going to erase the top part like this. And then you get that 3D effect where she's in front of it down here and above it up here. And then you can go to your liquify and you can use this, this fur down here. You want to liquify on the pet portrait and you can push that in a little bit so it fits into the frame a little bit more. Oops. Get like we'll find. There we go. And then just push that in to fit it a little bit better. Like that. I don't want any more look by. Okay. And then you can combine all those layers together by pinching them. Selection tool, make it a little bit smaller and move it up. And then you can add text to it. And you want to do the text in white. Then this is my dog, and her name just happens to be Wormy. So I'm going to add her name. that. And then I'm going to create a new layer and pinch the text layer and that layer together. I'm going to pick a brush. You can use any brush you want. I like to use the watercolor brushes. I like to use the dried out watercolor brush. Then you can pick color pick by using your finger. So I'm going to do this pink. Oh, and then you're going to alpha lock that. That. And then I'm going to use some of this purple. And put some of that on there too. And maybe a little bit of this lighter pink color. Just on the top. Like that. And then you can move that around. Like that. And then we're going to create a new layer underneath of our other layers. I like to use the watercolor brushes. I go to my washes right here and you can pick a wash. And I'm going to color pick from our flowers right here. I'm going to pick this green color. And I'm just going to put those in the background, create another new layer. So you can move them separately. Like that. And then I'm going to create another new layer and go to my watercolor brushes. And they have these drips right here. I'm going to pick a little bit darker of a green. I'm going to add a couple drips along the edge. Like that. And then you have your pet portrait. It's super simple. If you're doing it on a t-shirt or a mug or a tumbler, you would export this as a PNG like that so you don't have a background. Or you can export it as a JPEG and have it printed and whatever you want to do with it.